It's a free space. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. And now for our feature presentation. Okay, everyone, this is my long-awaited 60th game of Jeopardy for the SNES, in which so far I have made 4,266,535. Over $4.2 million this time. Let's see what happens here. Don't be my guy, of course. All right, time for jumping. Let's play. We're going to be playing with these categories. History, colleges, the 1950s, fish, math, and we'll close it out with actors and roles. Okay. Are you ready to go? We're ready. Actors and roles, 500. This Austrian went to Vienna to play Hamlet after he got out of Africa. Who is... Oh, I know he, he started with um, Meryl Streep. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I forgot his name. Ooh, we're off to a bad start. Klaus Maria Brandauer, that's right. Oh, let's bring it down. College is 500. The first modern laboratory for studying parapsychology was set up at this university in Durham, North Carolina. What is Duke University? Yeah, Klaus Maria Brandauer. He was also in White Fang with Ethan Hawke. Duke University, there we go, we're out of the hole. Okay, let's go over to uh, fish for 500. Deep sea game fish or Perkins of Wild Kingdom. What's a marlin? Out of the hole. Let's take math for 500, please. Or history 500. In 1867, these two European nations became a dual monarchy under Franz Joseph. What are Austria and Hungary? Now math for 500. The next number in the series of 1, 3, 6, 10. What is 15? Okay. 1950s 5? Or 400, I guess. Occupation of William Howard Mace that put him in the news. What is a baseball player? Okay, 1950s 500. This industrialist sold RKO pictures to General Fire in July 1955. Who is, um, Howard Hughes? Correct. Could we have uh, actors and roles for 400? Yes, it is. Off screen, this Canadian is the son of a Mountie. On film, he was the deadpan doctor in Airplane. I'll give this one to Sue because I don't know. Leslie Nielsen. Oh, yeah. The late, great Leslie Nielsen. Sue, so you're on the board. $400 or two. 
Fish for a hundred. Yeah, Type of carp which might feel at home at Fort Knox. What is a goldfish? Let's go college is for. George Bush played baseball and was Phi Beta Kappa while attending this university. I'm going to give this one to Rob because I don't know. Yale! Oh, okay. Rob and Sue are tied. They each have $400 in cash. Where to? Fish for 200 Some of these members of the mackerel family are skipjack and some are albacore. What are tuna? All right. Let's have a uh, fish for four. The answer is. Angolos Mordax, a pit fishy pizza topping. What is an anchovy? Let's go um, history, uh, history four. The answer is. In 1689, China signed its first treaty with this neighbor, de defining their border. Uh, what is, let's just say what is Japan. No. Sue. Russia. <laughs> Math for a hundred. The total price in dollars and cents of five two bit haircuts. What's a dollar twenty five? Good. Fish for four? Or math four? I'm sorry. 1.73 is the approximate square root of this number. What is three? Actors rolls three. Yeah, this rock star played Pontius Pilate in The Last Temptation of Christ. <laughs> that rock star was David Bowie. Makes sense. Sue's up to $1,100. Where is she going? After the rolls, 100 Okay. Yeah, you bet your life he played Coco in a 1960 version of The Mikado. <laughs> Uh, who is, uh, is Groucho Marx? I know he hosted You Bet Your Life, so I'm wondering... That's the right response. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, let's go with the College's Three. Daily Double. Up to $3,300. Uh, let's go for 2255 all right, that'll put me at $5,555 if I answer correctly on this clue. It has the smallest acreage, but the largest population within the California University System. What is UCLA? Yes! Actors are rolls 200. He and Meryl Streep won Oscars playing the title roles in Kramer vs. Kramer. Who's Dustin Hoffman? There we go. Let's go with uh, College of 100. Since 1778, troops have occupied the site of this U.S. Service Academy. What is West Point? College is two. Yeah, Scientists said that, that this New England blank brain trust produced artificial blood vessels from live cells. What is MIT? Yeah. Let's go with um, fish for three. Yeah, they come in white, blue, and hammerhead. 
What are sharks? I'll go with history for a hundred. In 1790, mutineers from this ship settled on Pitcairn Island. What is the uh, HMS Bounty? History 2. The term Cold War was used in the 30s to describe this country's conquering of nations with little fighting. What is... Was Russia? No. Germany. Nineteen fifties, a hundred. A reproduction of this famous ship sailed from Plymouth, England, to Massachusetts in nineteen fifty-seven. What is the Mayflower? History 3. Forcing a treaty in 1883, this nation gained control of Vietnam for almost 70 years. What is France? It's good. I'll take fish for 200, or math for 200, excuse me. Total number of humps of one Bactrian camel and two dromedaries. What is four? Math three? A Google is the number written as one followed by this many zeros. What is 100? Uh, 1952? Testifying before a Senate committee in 1957, Teamster President Dave Beckham both lists some 80 times. What is the Fifth Amendment? And the last clue. The answer is... In April 1955, for the first time in 33 years of publication, Reader's Digest carried these, and Rob locked me out. They are advertisements, which he's right. So that puts him at nine hundred dollars. Sue has eleven hundred, and me seven thousand three hundred fifty-five dollars. And the categories for Double Jeopardy are Renaissance Art, American History, starts with the letter V, Food, Literature, and we're going to close it out with American Music. So we have two American categories. All right, are we ready to go? We are ready. Let's start with uh, Renaissance Art 200, it looks like. Of Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and El Greco, the one born first. Uh, who is Leonardo da Vinci? Here we go. Uh, let me have American history for 1,000. The angel of the battlefield who established the American Red Cross. Oh, and Rob beat me to the buzzer. It was Clara Barton. Yeah, I knew that one. So he's up to 1,900, and he takes second place for now. Literature, 200. Yes, Homeland of authors Gerth, Remark, and Skiller. What is the... France or Germany? Uh, let's just say what is France. No. Cut. 
Germany. Germany. Taking Sue up to thirteen hundred dollars. Let's see where she goes. American history two hundred. Primary author of the Declaration of Independence. Who's Thomas Jefferson? American Music 1000? In Yankee Doodle, the men and boys are as thick as this. What is Hasty Pudding? $8,555. Let's go with uh, food for a thousand. Main dish ordered most often in American restaurants. Ah, Sue, you beat me to the buzzer. It's fried chicken, which is correct. 2300 Sue. Where to? Food for 200 Spicy, icy Spanish tomato soup. What is gazpacho? Good. I'll take uh, literature for a thousand. Yes, Author of Madame Bovary, he was Godfather and Fellow Writer Guide in Maupassant. It's Gustav Flaubert. I knew that one, but I got locked down on the buzzer again. So Rob takes second place. Is it 2,900? Let's see where he goes. Food for 400. Yes, Turn for pasta that remains firm to the teeth's touch. What is al dente? I'll take what is all start for a thousand? Yes, Born in Urbino in 1483, this painter learned much of his craft from Michelangelo and Leonardo. Who is Donatello? Or is it Raphael? I'm going to stick with Donatello. It's Raphael. Raphael, yep. Now it's already starts with V for 200. From Latin for hunting, it's the flesh of a deer. What is venison? Starts with V a thousand. Daily double, one of the two. All. The foremost position in an army or fleet. What is the vanguard? Uh, let's have start with V eight hundred. From the French, from the old French to come, it's the location of a gathering such as an Olympic event. What is a venue? I'll take stars V for six hundred. Vanuatu, yes, Vatican City, and these other two independent countries begin with V. What are Venezuela and Vietnam? Starts with V4. Yes, it is. Broadcasting's VOA stands for this. What is Voice of America? Yes. 
Okay, ran right that category. I'll take American History for 800. Yes, it is. Vice President charged with both treason and murder. Who's Aaron Burr? American Music 8? Yes, or 6, I guess. In 1945, this composer won a Pulitzer Prize for Appalachian Spring. Oh, too late. Aaron Copeland, yep. Renaissance Art 400. Yes, Known for his books of nudes, this Flemish artist produced at least 1,200 paintings. Who is, uh, Peter Paul Rubens? There we go. Uh, American Music 800, please. According to the title of an 1852 song, Masses in This. What is the cold, cold ground? Good. We're $20,000 right now. I'll take uh, food for eight. Yeah, or food six hundred, my bad. Dish made in meat and pa of meat and pastry named for Napoleon's nemesis. What is beef Wellington? Yeah. Now eight hundred. Yeah, the pauvois and steak au pauvois. What is pepper? There you go, over 21,910. Literature 8. Yes, she wrote Ramona out of concern for Native Americans. Sue. Helen Hunt Jackson. American Music 200. Yes, in some versions of the song, the title characters are Frankie and Albert. Were Frankie and Johnny? $22,000 plus. Let's have a uh, Renaissance Art 800. Though German, famed portrait artist Hans Holbein became court painter to this English king. Who is Henry VIII? Okay, let's go with uh, American History 600. The U.S. was involved in a bitter struggle between factions in this Asian country from 1950 to 1953. What is Korea? Good. I'll take uh, literature six. Yes, Philip Parrip's nickname and Dickens' great expectations. Oh, and Sue locked me out on the buzzer. Pip. Pip. Taking Sue up to 4,300. Let's see where she goes. Renaissance Art 600. Yes, no other daily double yet. Italians were masters of this medium of painting on fresh plaster. Ah, Rob locked me out on the buzzer. Fresco, yep. Okay, we're two. American History 400. Fortune hunters in the post-war South named for the luggage they carried. What are carpet, who are the carpet baggers? Okay, I'll have, um, American Music 400. All in. In Colombia, the gem of the ocean, these three colors are mentioned at least 12 times. What are red, white, and blue? 
Now the last clue. The answer is... While Edward Tudor is the prince, Tom Canty is this other title character, who is the pauper... Putting me at $48,220, Rob $4,500, Sue $4,300. <laughs> I get to come back for a 61st game, it looks like. And our category for Final Jeopardy is going to be the Civil War. Hmm. What do I know about the Civil War? Okay. Well, at this point, I'm going to have $4.3 million, it looks like. So I'm going to go for just $2,000. $2,002. Let's go with that. The two Union states that were invaded by General Lee's Confederate Army... Uh, it won't let me tie. I'm going to go with Maryland and Pennsylvania. Whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, it will not matter because I get to come back for a 61st game. And it was Maryland and Pennsylvania. I'm right. Yep. So I end up with fifty thousand two hundred twenty-two dollars this game. Yep, and that results. In a 60 game winning total of 4 million, hang on, 4 million, 316,757 dollars. And you get to come back for a 61st game soon, and I'll see you all for that next video coming soon.